Hi everyone, Jason from Makera here with another Carvera how-to. And in this one, we're looking at how to use the laser engraving module built into every Carvera desktop CNC. Every Carvera is equipped with a built-in diode laser engraving module that can be used to cut and engrave a wide range of materials enabling you to create projects that go far beyond what a typical desktop CNC or even a typical laser engraving machine can do. Materials like paper, cardboard, foam, fabric, wood, and leather can all be engraved, and many of these materials can also be cut using the laser engraving module too. Now, while there are many materials that can be cut and engraved using lasers, it's important to note that there are many materials that cannot be. Synthetic leathers or PVC-based plastics, for example, release harmful fumes during the engraving process. You can find recommended materials and cutting parameters for the Carvera on the Feeds and Speeds page of our wiki site. And always remember that you can utilize the milling functionality of your Carvera instead whenever you want to use a material that lasers are not compatible with. And of course, you can take advantage of the built-in milling spindle and the laser engraving module to make really unique projects, like first cutting or drilling thicker stock that lasers can't handle, then using the laser to engrave an image or design onto the surface of the stock. You can also mill printed circuit boards, then use the laser to engrave and cure a UV solder mask onto the surface of it. The order that you can perform these operations typically varies from project to project, but usually we recommend that you perform the milling operations first then the engraving operations for these types of combination projects. This is usually because the dust created when milling could impact the quality of the engraved image if it was done prior. But always ensure that the dust is removed prior to the engraving as it could present a potential fire hazard if not. It's also, of course, important that you set up your machine differently for these different types of operations. For example, you would typically use the dust shoe and vacuum when milling, and you would also want the laser lens to be covered during milling operations. But for laser operations, we need to remove the protective lens cover and the dust shoe. We also recommend that you use the air assist module to reduce material scorching during laser operations. And whenever using the laser engraving module, you want to make sure that you're working in a well-ventilated space and wear protective eyewear. Every Carvera is shipped with a UV tint that can be applied to the canopy, or you can utilize the laser protective cover accessory, which is available in our store. And when starting a new laser project, it's always a good idea to perform test cuts. The lens of the laser can be manually rotated to focus it, which can be done during engraving safely by enabling the laser test mode function in the Carvera controller app. Every time the laser is enabled, the Carvera will automatically home without a tool loaded to calibrate its height and position for laser operations. The wireless Z probe will also be used to obtain material thickness and adjust the laser focal length automatically based on your loaded stock too. And to prepare your projects for laser cutting and engraving with the Carvera, you can use generic CAM programs like Lightburn, but we would recommend that you utilize Makera CAM. This will allow you to import and prepare a wide range of different design files for manufacturing with both laser engraving and milling operations on the Carvera. So for whatever you have planned, the Carvera is prepared to support you and your limitless creation right out of the box. Check out more how-tos and guides on the Makera channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.